Hello everyone, welcome back to our digital VLSI channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I am going to discuss about 4-bit ripple carry adder or 4-bit parallel adder. As we discussed full adder already in our video series, a full adder can add uh, two single bit uh, two inputs and it produce an and extra carry bit and generated from its previous stage and it produces uh, outputs uh, as sum and carry. Suppose if you want to add multiple n bit uh, binary sequence, we require multiple cascaded full adders. So the n bit parallel adder is nothing but cascaded of full adders. Mm, and this is the black diagram of uh, uh, ripple carry adder. Uh, imagine you have uh, two four bit numbers A and B and you want to add them together. Um, so a four bit parallel adder required. The sum uh, and this is the uh, this is the black diagram, right? Uh, so we use here uh, four uh, uh, full adders to add the corresponding bits of A and B. The output, the carry output from each full adder is connected to the carry input of the next full adder. The sum output S0, S1, S2, S3 from from each full adder is the result of adding the corresponding bits of A and B. By combining these four full adders, uh, we can add two four-bit numbers in parallel. Now let's see here. Here I am considering two four-bit numbers. A is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. What is the decimal equivalent? 5. B is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0. What is the decimal equivalent? 10. So I am going to add these two together 1 plus 0 is 1 1 1 1 this is 15 so this is a0 and this is a1 a2 a3 so a0 is the least significant bit and a3 is the most significant bit similarly and this is b0 b1 b2 b3 now i'm going to show you how to add by using this 4 bit ripple carry adder so as we know the sum of full adder is a xr b xr c in carry is equal to Carry is equal to AB plus BC in plus CA. So, what is A0 here? A0 is 1 and B0 is 0 and A1 is 0 and b1 is 1 and a2 is 1 and b2 is 0 and a3 is 0 here and uh, b3 is 1. So here I am assuming initial carry as 0. So now I am going to find out what is the sum of this full adder. So we need to perform uh, xr of a and b and c in. 1 xr 0 is 1 and 0 xr 1 xr 0 is 1 and 1 again 1 xr 0 is 1 so here sum is 1 what is the carry so we need to do a b plus b c plus c a a b plus b c plus c a we need to perform so 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 0 again is 0 so here carry is carry is 0 here now, now we are go I'm going to find out S1. Same XR operation we need to do here. 0 XR1 is 1 and 1 XR0 is 1. 1. If you multiply and add, we will get carry here and AB plus BC plus CA and here carry is 0. Uh, similarly, here also 
s2 a2xr b2xr c1 if you do we will get sum is equal to 1 and here carry is equal to 0 and here also 0xr1 1xr0 and here also 1 c3 carry we will get 0 here in this way we're gonna add two 4 bit numbers by using ripple carry adder now i'm going to show you how to write verilog code for 4 bit parallel adder first let's start with module followed by some name parallel adder input 3 down to 0 a comma b input c in 3 down to 0 a comma b uh, means uh, a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 b of 0 b of 1 b of 2 b of 3 so output 3 down to 0 sum so i am writing just s output as per our hardware circuit uh, output c3 carry output c3 then wire c0 c1 c2 these are the internal wires as per our hardware circuit now we need to instantiate or all full adders so full adder f a 0 first full adder so i am assuming f f a 0 and this is the instance name so a of 0 comma b of 0 comma c in are the inputs sum s of 0 c of c 0 are the sum and carry for the first full adder similarly for the second full adder what are the inputs a of 1 b of 1 c 0 s of 1 and c 1 sum and carry for the third full adder what are the inputs a of 2 comma b of 2 carry from the second full adder c 1 sum of 2 comma c 2 sum and carry for that third full adder fourth full adder f a sorry here f a 2 here and here f a 3 f a 0 f a 1 f a 2 f a 3 are the instance instance name a of 3 comma b of 3 comma c2 comma s of 3 sum carry c3 now we need to write the code for full adder module full adder input a comma b comma c in output sum comma carry sum comma carry assign sum is equal to a x r b x r c in assign carry is equal to a and b or b and c in c and a with this our design code is done now let's move on to the test bench so module 
parallel adder or we can write just test bench test bench input says regs output says ys here reg 3 down to 0 a comma b reg c in wire 3 down to 0 s wire 3 down to 0 c3 ah, we don't need just write c3 so now we need to instantiate our design module to the test module parallel underscore adder dut instance name a comma b comma c in comma sum comma carry so initial begin within this initial block we need to supply inputs so here I'm giving a is equal to 101 this is the 5 so we can declare as 4 tick tick is a separator b 0 1 0 1 and this is my a input b 1 0 1 0 b means binary so c in initial carry i'm assuming 0 here and then i'm giving some ash 1 time delay If I printing those values, I'm giving dollar display a is equal to percentage b comma b is equal to percentage b comma c in is equal to percentage b comma s is equal to percentage b comma c3 is our final carry percentage b a comma b comma c in comma s comma c3 i am copying this paste it here and changing a and b values zero double one And then end end module now let's run the code yeah this is the output we got let's check it here so what is zero one zero zero one zero one means this is five b is equal to one zero one zero and this is uh, 10 so 10 plus 5 is 5 s is equal to all ones this is 15 we got and this is a 3 8 and this is 11 3 yeah same 11 yeah that's it guys in this way we can add uh, two four bit numbers by using parallel adder I hope you guys understood the concept clearly. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our digital VLSI channel. Your support means a lot to us and motivate us to create more informative content for you. Thanks for watching. We will see you all in the next video with another interesting topic. Thank you.